Hey guys, welcome to Friday morning, January 3rd, 2020. I like saying 2020. How many of you guys have screwed up on the writing the date? I have I had to do it once yesterday when I signed for the check at the antique booth, and there was like six people in front of me that had already written 2020, so I did not screw it up. I was super proud of myself. But this is the only thing we have sold since yesterday on eBay. I took a $6 offer on it. We luckily don't have any money into it, though. There was a coupon at Salvation Army, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, that each customer got one free book and one free stuffed animal. This was my free book, and my stuffed animal was that white tiger vintage golf club head cover thing. Sold that already for $15, and I took a $6 offer on this, so... Made over 20 bucks on that free stuff. I love it. So we're going to get this boxed up and then we're going to go thrifting. What gates have opened. There's a $3 Christmas bag sale going on. So I'm following the crowd. Well, I missed the hunt only because two bags stuffed full of Christmas stuff, $3 each. And I put them on top of all my other stuff. So I buried everything. But we found some really interesting things. These, by far, are my favorite. A set of four of these, and they are signed something. I feel like for the price that they're asking, we are for sure getting those. We're gonna look this stuff up, though. Rich's first look up, 1961-something doll. It's got Horseman, an, horse, Horseman Doll Company. Horseman Doll Company. It's got a nail on his head. We don't really understand what that's all about. First thing I believe we are putting back, not because he's creepy, but because he's a winder. And his winder has been overwhelmed. Can't find any sold comps. <sighs> so, yeah, I don't know. We've got a ton of stuff to still look up. I think this one's going back. Having kind of a hard time with the, the Looney Tunes, Nanco. Giant vintage plush Tasmanian devil. I don't know what my deal is with Taz's. I love them. I love them. And then check out these. That one's got the original Disney, Walt Disney Minnie Mouse phrase tag. Yes, please, for $5. I think this guy is also $5. I'm pretty sure it's one of those days where we're getting pretty much everything in the cart except for the doll. This doll is so creepy. Look at that eye. Oh, there we go. It just seen into your soul. Um, we're gonna get the these. These are Westmoreland. We're gonna get the dragonfly, the glasses, all the vintage plushes. That's a Stetson hat, but it has no price tag on it, so we have to ask what they want for it. And then our stuff a bag for three dollars bags, which we have two of. We are two for two on stores today. Bought that mid-century lamp I'll for... I'll replace the plug. I got something that's more period correct. Five bucks. Not too bad. It's probably worth like 35-ish. Mm -hmm. All right, store number three. Oh, I've sold one of these before. We garbage picked the first one. Oh no, that's not damaged. Oh yes it is. It's cracked right in two. Some utensils for Rich. Oh, I kind of love him. I don't feel any damage. That doesn't mean Rich won't find some. Ooh, I like this vanity tray. Might ask about that too. Things here usually are not priced, you have to ask. Hmm. Hmm. All right, they want three fifty for that guy, but I'm thinking he's probably worth like eight to ten, so I think I'm gonna put him back. Eight dollars for this, I can probably on the low end get twenty five, so I think I'm still gonna get this and triple my money. And as you can see, Rich does not currently have a turntable. Vintage. Check this thing out with the original box. Craziness. <laughs> he 
You gotta make it into the end, right? Yep. See, people like me and Rich, this this would entertain me all day. Keegan, Crazy. no. Keegan would have looked at that for two seconds and was like, this is stupid. It's cracked. Oh, no. Still on the hunt for a Sully, though. We have not yet found one. Wow, that is a print. It's kind of strange when you find things in unison. It's another one of those horse, what is it called? Horse something? Horseman. Horseman. Hor horseman. Dolls. Is that one dated? I went 19 something. 1972. 72. So it's a little bit older than the 61 that we found at the last place. I don't know. Younger. I think it originally was supposed to come with like a bottle or something. The eyeballs. <laughs> it is a drink in wet and it is supposed to have a bottle and a hat. It's only worth about 10 bucks so it's staying here. We have officially broken the streak. This is our last thrift store for today. Oh, that sucks so bad. Man. So bad. It's a flippy one. Yeah. These are so hard to find. Oh, I'm so bummed about that. I wonder if you can take those off. No, you can't. They're like built in. Oh, I'm so super bummed about that. Sucks that's not in better condition. 1982 Heathcliff. Whole bottom is blown out. Not to mention it's super scratched up. That's a bummer though. Two, two, two bummers in a row. I dug through it, couldn't find a sully. Doesn't look like we're gonna find anything here today either. We're back at the house. I think I set up a porch pickup for this plant stand. Pretty sure I bought this at an auction a long time ago for like five bucks. Uh, I had it listed for 25, I got a $20 offer. We'll see if she actually shows. I'm not entirely sure if I set it up or not, but we'll see. Now with the haul, I'm gonna start with the Christmas stuff because there is a lot of it. I stuffed a ton of stuff in those bags for three bucks and three bucks. All of that for six bucks plus tax. Score! We're just gonna start at the left and go to the right. I believe this bag is full of snow babies. Pretty sure that's what those are. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll sell those as a lot. Hopefully I don't break them. Actually, I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's in my way. This thing is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> it is a giant stocking. Now I really tried to stick with stuff that have tags that I can look up what it is. This does have a tag. I'm pretty sure it is vintage. It's ridiculously huge. Also ridiculously cool. I like it. Now, these are both music boxes. This one is Otagari. Whoops, going the wrong way. Oh, come on. It worked in the store. Well, that was anticlimactic. This one is not marked i thought it was made in taiwan do not overwind caution i don't know i thought that one was marked too but i guess not this is a cookie jar i took it out of the box i couldn't find any damage doesn't mean that rich won't find some but i didn't and it has the box and the packaging which is really good for resale same with this house of lloyd Christmas around the world ornament with the ornament stand. And we all know how I feel about the vintage motionettes of Christmas. This is a caroler with the original box, probably worth about $35 to $40. I do believe she is also a 24 inch um, doll. They make the 18 inches and the 24 inches. She appears to be a 24 inch, but don't quote me on that. These I don't know about, but I just thought they were really stinking cute. Plus it has the original box. And it's a whole set of six of these like miniature candle holders. They're so stinking cute. Um, don't, I don't know what those would be worth. 
haven't looked any of this stuff up yet, so I, I really don't know. This guy does something. I just don't know what he does. I also don't know if he's missing a hat or something that goes on his head. There's like a weird mark, but I grabbed him just in case. Um, the way that this building works, it's a giant brick building. You can't really look anything up. So I don't know. And this I just thought was really stinking cute. It's like just a little metal tray, easy to ship. These are Libby's. We just sold a used set of these that I got at the last year's fill a bag for $2 sale. This was fill a bag for $3. They're up in the price. Um, but I just recently sold the set of four that I had from last year for 20 bucks. These clearly vintage, brand new, unopened toy fund. I just thought this was cute. It's not old or anything. There's nothing like super fantastic about it, but I just thought it was really cute. So I grabbed it. I don't know what this does either, but it does something and it, it lights up and it seems to have all of the pieces. There's like a snowman and a base. That's where this thing plugs in. All the pieces seem to be there. I just don't specifically know what it does. It does have paperwork. What else? This, I don't know. I'm on a kick with, uh, sun catchers, I guess. Stained glass sun catchers. I didn't see any damage. You gotta love the Christmas goose. These I thought were really cool. I don't know if they're worth a ton of money, but there is two of them. They are old world Santa stockings, but they're like porcelain um, with the stocking underneath. I don't know, just thought they were cool. There's two of them, there's this one too. I probably will, s I don't know if I'll sell them together or separate. Same with this thing, I don't know if it's worth a ton of money, but it's fun. It's like a little M&M dispenser. It was cool. This piece is actually pretty heavy and it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to ship. It's Hallmark. It's nothing fabulous. <laughs> this is probably the best find. Who doesn't need a dysfunctional family Christmas songbook? Hilarious. I wish I played the piano. So funny. There's like actual... It's an actual songbook. It's great. It's absolutely fantastic. You can't even argue with me on that. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh my gosh, I waited for him to get done drinking water too. I'm just going to keep going. Sorry about the water slurping in the background. I literally waited for him and now he's just back at it. We're going to start in the front. These are magnificent. I am absolutely just in love with these. They are definitely vintage, probably 60s, I'm assuming. If you know different, let me know. Original tag. Look at that. Original friggin' tag. Really good condition. I'm guessing that I'm going to get 35 out of, maybe 45 out of this one because it's got the original tag. I'll say 45 on Minnie, probably 35 on Mickey. Such good condition. Tags down here. So I can look them up. I'm just not entirely sure what they're going to go for. These are beautiful. They are milk glass. They are Westmoreland. And I have a pair, a matching set. I'm probably going to list those for $24.99 or best offer because I have the set. Um, if I didn't have the set, if it was just one of these dishes, this one probably would go for around nine. That one maybe, I don't know, 15. Whew, I'm like so afraid I'm going to break those. This is beautiful. I paid $8 for this. It, oh, I'm like crunching tag. I need to be careful of what I am doing with my life. These, I don't have any problem getting about 25 bucks for. This one's a little bit different. The, um, the cast on it is a little heavier than the ones that I usually sell. So I am going to try to list this for $29.99 or best offer and see if I can get a little bit more out of it than I was originally anticipating. I usually don't pay $8 for these either. I usually will only pay up to like five, but that one's just a little bit unique. I liked it. I think I, I think it'll sell well. Rich picked up this piece. It is a 
like perfect condition Stetson. Size seven, I think? Yes, size seven, uh, 56. It's a John B. Stenson Company 4X Beaver. Wow. Paid 10 for it, paid up a little bit, but I think we, because of the condition, we're gonna try for 50 all day. Just see where that goes. It's a beautiful hat. Do we get the feathers? We need to see the feathers. The feathers just, the feathers make the hat. Awesome. Again, I don't know what my deal is with stained glass sun catchers, but that thing is awesome and probably gonna get listed for about 25 bucks. It's beautiful. I only paid a dollar for it, so that was an absolute steal. These may be my favorite thing that we picked up today. I originally only seen three of the glasses and I was I grabbed one. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bummed that there's not another glass. And then when I moved it, I was like, oh wait, wait, there is a fourth glass. So excited. They are signed. We just haven't figured out what the signature says yet. So we will let you know what those are worth. I think we paid a buck a piece for them. So we got $4 invested. Those are killer. Those are absolutely killer. The large Tasmanian Devil. We had a very hard time finding any information on. It is a Nanco. It has the original tag, as you can see right there. We paid $3 for him. I don't know exactly what he's worth, but I think I'm going to list him for 30 or best offer because the only comp that I could find that was like in the same ballpark was about $30. So that's kind of where I'm at with Taz. And we bought a mid-century desk lamp for five. We're just going to do a little work on it, clean it up. We're going to aim for about 35 on that. So this is our haul from today. Oh my goodness, we did freaking swell. Everything we got I am like super in love with. It's It was just, it was a good day. Good day of thrifting, for sure. I need more assistance. I'm waiting for Rich. But we are sticking this in the pickup bin. It's already been paid for on Wednesday. The guy just couldn't pick it up for t till today. And we should have 24 the plane stand. So sweet. You guys remember us picking this up last Friday? Santana and Buddy Miles. Bought it for I think a dollar fifty. It's pending pickup at 7.30 for ten dollars. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Record was picked up and we have another ten dollars to add to our collection. And that's it for us tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us again today guys. See you later.